This is the fun part. This is the fun part. <clears throat> um, any dreams in sequence? You? One? All right, one. I'll take it. Do you, do you mind sharing it? Mm, willing? Work? Okay, good, 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 good. What's nice about working with dreams is that you can use the dreams as the basis for the talk. I don't have to come in with anything. But I brought a couple of notes with me, put them on this board, so I look professional. I would like to just raise an idea for you, what I mean by meaningful and how I approach the idea of meaning. If anything has a relationship of parts to whole, <clears throat> then there's an order. If there's a repeating order, then there's a pattern. If there's a pattern, then it's either static or it evolves and is dynamic. If it's a dynamic pattern, then there's some theme that must operate through it to organize it. If they are themes, a plural, there are themes, then they're unite, unified, united in some way. And if they're unified, themes come together, then it's intelligible. And once you reach intelligibility, you know you're in the realm of the meaningful. Now, go a step further. If there's something you judge meaningful, implicit in the idea of meaning is that it has a benefit. And if it has a benefit, then that's what the Greeks mean by possessing an art. Now that's using the word art in the classic sense, not in the sense of artistry. Uh, that means, therefore, only a certain class of studies can be regarded as an art because only those can be called arts that benefit the individual in some significant way, like medicine. All right, the whole object of medicine is that the subject enters into a relationship with the physician, knowing full well that they may suffer more than they may have had they not gone, but they're going to put up with the bother, the pain, for one reason. They think in the end they will benefit. Therefore, they're willing to take on the physician's advice, change their way of life, he becomes their ruler, and they only do it for one purpose, they think they will benefit. Therefore, the presumption of a knowledge that may benefit means there is an art. The same argument, of course, can apply to captains of ships, dentistry, and maybe, in the long run, philosophy. So, that's what I mean by meaningful, and that's how we'll approach it. So when we go into the dreams, what are we gonna do? Look part to whole. We're gonna then say it has an order, are we not? If that's an order, then we're going to look for the repeating order. We're going to go right through this scheme, aren't we? So just to bring you up to date, the way we're going to study dreams is, the assumption is, that if the parts relate to the whole, then there's an order. If the order repeats itself, there's a pattern. If there's a pattern, then it's either static or dynamic and evolves. If it's a dynamic pattern, then there's some theme. If there are plurality of themes, then they're unified. If they're unified, then that's when we call something intelligible. If it's intelligible, we know it's going to be meaningful. If meaningful, then it must benefit us, and therefore it presupposes an art. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's play. All right. You brought how many dreams? One, with, uh, well, actually it's a series, four dreams. Good, that's good. Hold on, now, look, no, see? That's all we need. Yeah, God, that's a, a gift. <laughs> all right, look here. This is what we're saying. There's a cycle. Each one of these is a part to whole relationship. We're then going to look for the repeating 
pattern, are we not? Then we're going to look for themes, we're going to look for themes, etc., and go through the whole thing. So, give us the first one, please. Okay. Uh, the first one is just a fragment. Pardon? A fragment. That's okay. I was gathering potatoes. Oh, good, potatoes. good. How? Harvesting potatoes. In, in the ground? Yeah. Harvesting. Okay, okay, okay. Happen to be very good at drawing potatoes in the ground? Go ahead. No, no. Oh. State of mind, please. Um, How? Because you could do it in a variety of ways, could you not? Very focused. Focused. Um, and discriminating, wanting to get the best ones. In what way discriminating? Uh, sorting. Sorting? Sorting what? Okay, sorting, selecting, judging. Yeah. Judging the better. Go ahead, good, good, good. How do the potatoes look? How do they look? Yeah, how do they look? The better one. Uh, Just describe. Not wrinkled. Not wrinkled, go ahead. Firm. Firm. Yes, yeah, smooth. Smooth. Full size, not puny. Just the right size. Full size. <laughs> now, one of the rules when you make an analysis of dreams is that the person giving you the dream can't have a private joke. Now, tell us what you're laughing about. That's what, really, it's in print, small print. I'm laughing at my description because all I had was harvesting potatoes and coming up with all of this. Yeah, stuff. yeah, 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 okay. I thought maybe there was something funny you saw in that. If so, I need that. No, there was nothing funny in it. I was just very really focused on... But you see, you said it wasn't puny. And you chuckled. The word puny. That's a curious word. You don't use it often. No. But it fit. Yeah. We'll go back to that later. Okay, second dream. Thank you very much. There's another scene. Pardon? This is the next trip. Melvin is there. My aunt, <coughs> my aunts come in. Melva, Sonia, and Sharon. That's a whole crowd colony. <coughs> Are they all ants? Yeah, all ants. The ant brigade. The ant brigade. They were walking. Hold it. Okay. I happen to be very good at people. Walking. Good, there they go. They were walking into the room. I mm -hmm. think it was the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I was surprised. I hadn't seen them in a long time. The tall, beautiful sisters. <coughs> How did you describe them? Tall, beautiful sisters. Go ahead. I was going to kiss them on the cheek, but somehow my Aunt Melba had rouge on her cheeks. Rouge or something on her cheeks. I kissed my aunt Sonia on the lips. She said something about my mother. I hope your mother is not upset. I hope your mother is not sick. Upset. Upset, thank you. As though something was as though something was wrong with me kissing on, on the lips. And my mother has this thing about, ever since I was a kid, don't let adults kiss you on the lips, something like that. Relatives always kiss them on the cheeks. Don't kiss them on the lips. So I think that's what, that's what was implied there, why I hope your mother's not upset. Okay. Um, See, so, that's yeah, going a bit. I was gonna go back. That's right. What are we going to get? States, States of mind. That's right. right. Every, anytime you do any work reflecting like this, you need three things. All right? You must always look for the logos, the words, the meaning, as much as you can get it. 
the image and the action, right? And especially in that, the state of mind. Okay, okay. Please go on. So they walked into the room, and mm -hmm. uh, these are, they're beautiful, tall women, mm -hmm. and they remind you of, like, sirens. They, like? Sirens. Sirens? Yeah. In the Greek? Yeah. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. I was surprised to see them. Mm -hmm. Just their presence, their tall presence, and that I hadn't seen them in a long time surprised me. And I was just taken by how beautiful they were, and that they were sisters. It just seemed to add to it. I'm, I'm not familiar with that word, surprised. Talk about it. I can you can be you can be surprised in a variety of ways. So yeah, just talk sorry. about it. In awe of their beauty. Good, good. More. And these are my aunts. They were related to me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anything more? Good. Okay. Thank you. Um, then I was going to kiss my aunt Melba on the cheek. Is this another dream? No, this is the this is the same. Okay. This is after they came in to the room. Mm-hmm. And she had this rouge on her cheeks and it kind of got in the way. I was gonna go, I was approaching her to greet her and give her a kiss on the cheek. And I was kind of repulsed by this rouge on her cheeks. It was kind of super superfluous. Like she was so beautiful to, mm. have, to do to have that on. And it took away from from her natural beauty. It's an interesting state, that repulse, because of that. You know, yeah. Can you say a little bit more about that state of mind, please? It Repulsed. Just, it just didn't fit. Didn't fit. Uh-huh. I didn't want to get it on me. Ah. Uh, good. That's helpful, thank you. Good. Any other reflection? Third then? So then, I kissed my Aunt Sonia on the lips. Mm -hmm. And it seemed quite natural. It was just a, a warm, kind of just affectionate smile on. We just kissed her on the lips. Good, thank you. Third, keep going. And she said um, something about my mother. I hope mm -hmm. my mother is not upset. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I thought that was because of mm -hmm. the kissing on the lips, that there was something wrong with that. Mm -hmm. But it, it didn't seem to me like there was anything wrong with that. Another scene in the same dream? Yeah. Go ahead. Tamiko was there. She's the daughter of one of my aunts, my cousin. My aunt Melba sat down and she was showing us her teeth were loose. Her two front teeth. Mm -hmm. And I 
I said, you know what you ought to try? Lemon juice. It tightens the gums. You hold it in your mouth until, for a while, and then it will taste sweet. The sour will turn to sweet. And Tamiko said, yeah, lemon juice. And I say, see if it makes a difference. Notice how your teeth are now, and see the difference after you use it. Tamiko got out a funny kind of plastic juicer. Juicer. <laughs> it had a kind of syringe kind of structure. You were supposed to push it somehow. And I asked her if this was the way to do it. And she said, yeah. But I didn't see how that was going to juice a lemon. My Aunt Melva had dozed off. And Tamiko was, I guess this would split the scene. I would make a split right here. Mm -hmm. I say my out of the ghost dog. And Tamiko was talking to her. Called her and she said, leave me alone. And she snapped at her. Leave me alone. Out of her sleep. I thought that was unusual for her to snap like that. Usually she wakes up and starts talking. And that's the end of that. Mm -hmm. What did Nico say? Um, I don't know what she was saying to her, hmm. but she was talking to her as she was doze, dozing off. Okay. okay. Dozed off. Okay. Thank you. Um, so, back to the beginning, Melba sat down and she was showing us her teeth were loose. And again, it's a kind of shock because here's my beautiful aunt again, and she's got loose teeth. And she really takes care of herself, and it's unusual for her to have from teeth loose to me. I think that's kind of unfortunate too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I suggest something that I think will help mm -hmm. her conditions, lemon juice. Mm -hmm. And I start explaining this to her because I know it sounds odd to use, you know, you don't want to lemon juice is so sour. I thought she would just reject my suggestion, so I felt like I had to explain it to her and convince her to try it. How'd she take it? Um, State of mind? My state of Hers. Hers. Remember what you said? In your she said, yeah, I'm going back. I don't have that in my, in the, tra in the transcription. But she seemed willing, to, she was a little reluctant, but not totally against it. Yes. Go ahead. Hmm. Pardon me? Okay, so okay. Um, I'm explaining her the sour will turn to sweet. Just don't worry, the sour will turn to sweet. Try it. Mm -hmm. See if it makes a difference. Mm -hmm. And then uh, my cousin got out this plastic juicer. And I didn't see how the juicer was going to work. Yeah, I had a problem with it too. Yeah, it's all right. Um, Thank you. Good. And I asked her if this was the way to do it, and she said, yeah, but I didn't see how. Okay. Um, but I think I, I went ahead and, I, I'm not sure if I tried it, but I just didn't, I just had a strong doubt that this thing is not going to work. It's not going to choose the one. You need a kind of rough edge to twist it against, to really get all the juice out of the pulp. Mm-hmm. So there was just a strong doubt there. Mm -hmm. um, then there's the part my aunt Melba dozed off. Tamiko was talking to her, called her, and called her, 
and she said, my Aunt Nova said, leave me alone. And it's, my Aunt Nova has this history of dropping off to sleep. But whenever you talk to her, she just comes right out of it and starts talking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good, good. I mean, and this is in contrast to, like, my mother. My mother falls asleep, and you talk to her, she snaps at me. So, nice switch. Yeah. Nice switch. We might use that later. Okay. Yeah. Good. Third. Okay. Third. I was visiting Lisa Venom's house. Who's? Lisa Venom. Okay. It's all right. Lisa's. Yeah, Lisa's. Okay. She gave me a long hug. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I got to start first with what came first. Let me start with what came Turn. first. Okay. When I first saw Lisa, she was chasing Twyla, who was, who was her daughter. Twyla had done something and she was going after her. Twyla was wailing. She was running. And I thought, I hope she doesn't beat that. And she brought her back and told her, do you want to have lunch? And Twyla said, yeah. And she said, well, then you better behave or something like that. And then I come up to her house, and she gives me a long hug. Mm -hmm. in but it was unusual, unusually long, mm -hmm. but warm and just mm -hmm. nice, like I, she hadn't seen me in a long time. Pardon? Like she hadn't seen me in a long time. Embracing. Go ahead. The step up to her house was really high. The first step. I found a crate to step up. I said, oh, that first step is really high. I didn't think I could make it. State of mind when she was chasing Twyla was um, gosh, very high anxiety. Like I wanted to do something to help, but I couldn't. To intervene somehow. So that she wouldn't harm the child. Mm -hmm. She seemed very angry. Mm -hmm. um, so I was just kind of motionless, standing there, hoping, oh my gosh, I hope she doesn't do something to her. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Then the step up to the house. Um, Steep. How to use a crate. Very high, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, what I see here, is, which is curious, is I say I didn't think I could make it after I got the crate. But I, when I took the step, in, when I was trying to take the step in this dream, it's as though it was as though the step got higher as I was lifting my leg to get on top of it. It would get higher. And at first I thought I could just take the step, and then I saw it was going to be more mm -hmm. difficult than I thought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I got the crate. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. good, thank you. Fourth now, I presume? Yes. Yeah, okay, go ahead. I went into the other room. This is the fourth dream? This is the fourth dream. Thank you. Seven. Went into the other room, go ahead. Okay, I took out my tape recorder. It was a small thing. I could play it on the TV, and it gave me a, a video image of a talk that was being reviewed. I think it, it was my talk that was being reviewed. There was a woman that was sitting with Pierre and Nancy. I think it was Catalina. And she was laughing because she said about the talk, 
when she sees it, what is she going to do with the consequences of what she sees? And then the tape is kind of garbled. And I think it said, I said incorporate or something. Providence is blocked. How is she going to see or something like that with that problem? Could you do that again, please? What is she going to do with the consequences? Just go back over there. Of what she sees. Yeah. Incorporate them. How is she going to incorporate them? Providence is blocked. Oh. How is she going to incorporate it? Yeah. And what follows? Providence is blocked. I didn't hear it. Pro Providence is blocked. Providence. She's blocked. She said is blocked. Great statement. How is she going to see or something like that? Is that problem? <laughs> Same thing. Stay, stay to mind. I finished that. Um, okay. Stay to mind. Let me let me just go through it. I don't know if there's no. Na there's more. Oh, good. Good. Nancy raised her eyebrow and said, "Ah, that's smart or sharp." I remember noticing. That that's how, smart. Yeah, for sharp of her to see that. That's what struck me. That's what struck me about this woman, Catalina. She was. She would see things about people and say it. And she was kind of pretty right on with what she saw. About what she was. Is that in the dream? No, I'm, I'm telling you about the woman Catalina. No. Is it in the dream? No, it's not in the dream. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. We may use it later, but okay. not, not at first. Okay. okay, so let me just finish reading this. Nancy raised her eyebrows and said, okay, that's sharp. I remember noticing how clear the image was on the screen. It played on such a little unit how crystal clear everything was. That's it. Okay, same thing. What are we going to ask? State Put in some on. states of mind. Okay. Um, yeah. There's the surprise again about this tape recorder that can play on the TV. And it was as though, okay, in this part there was the woman sitting with Pierre and Nancy Catalina. Mm -hmm. It was as though it was like a, um, a theater now, almost like this room. Mm -hmm. And they were sitting next to one another and watching the screen and this woman Catalina just sees clearly in the talk, in the review of the talk, ah, that's her problem. But in the dream, I don't recall what it was. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Anything else there? Oh, just what I was saying about this woman Catalina, that this was what I saw about her, mm -hmm. why I think mm -hmm. she plays this role. Okay. And uh, this part about what she's going to do with the consequences of what she sees mm -hmm. It was as though
just couldn't, couldn't ignore it. Yes. Back to one now. All right. As you look at it, we're looking for themes. We're looking for themes. All right. Notice the language. Always watch the language, the logos. What would you say she's doing in the dream? What is she doing? Focusing and discriminating. Sorting, selecting, judging. Hmm. All right. What do you call that? What do you want to call that? A, a very nice cognitive state of judging, yeah. right? Selecting, judging, discriminating is a nice word for it, <clears throat> right? That higher sense of discriminating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, now you're going through the process. Do you have a standard? Yes. Yes, right? What are they? Firm. Firm. Not wrinkled, smooth, no blotches, full size, not puny. Go ahead, what? Come on, you're good. I like, that's where we're going. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, shriveled up and spawning. So you have, see, you have, you have what you don't want, and you have what you want. Right. Sickly, puny. Underdeveloped. Underdeveloped, right. This is a good word for it. Underdeveloped. All right. They're not. not yeah, right. You have to do it louder. They're not underdeveloped. They're not underdeveloped. I don't want the underdeveloped. Yeah, yeah. If you don't want the underdeveloped, these are the undeveloped. Is that the way you use it? Yeah. Unwrinkled. Yeah. I, I'm with you. Yeah, the negatives. Yeah. But you have a clear idea. You don't want the underdeveloped ones. Yes. And they would be the ones that would be wrinkled. Right? right? Blotches. Puny. Right. Yeah. Right? So you have a negative and you have positive. Right, 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 right. You don't want the undeveloped one, you want the developed one. Hmm. And you're having, what state of mind are you in when you're doing it? Very focused. Very focused? Right. Determined? Determined? Yeah. yeah, good. Good. Yeah. Uh, talk about uh, just anything you want. Puny potatoes. Puny potatoes. Yeah. Like being gypped. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Like being gypped. I like that. Go ahead. Who wants puny potatoes? Okay. Meaty potatoes. Right. Okay. All right. So you're making sure you're not going to be gypped. That's what's behind the word puny for you. Good. 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 So you have to be careful and you're focused and discriminating because you want to avoid this. You don't want to be gypped. As a matter of fact, you want to go the other way and get what's best. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Second dream. <clears throat> With uh, the three arms. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> okay, uh, Sorting, selecting, judging. Now, um, it's an interesting state. Here, you're focused. What state is she in here, please? What? I'm awe. Awe. So we have focused and awe. But still discriminating. But still discriminating. 
Ah, good, that's right. Still discriminating. Okay. No, I want the beautiful one. Ah. So the potato has grown into something beautiful. Not puny. Not puny. Not puny there. Sweet potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That was helpful. Okay. As you look at the second dream, what's the conflict? What's the conflict in the dream? There's a conflict. What's the conflict? Pardon? Mother. Right? The echo of the mother. Right? Yeah, because I it feels natural on one on one hand. Mm -hmm. But then there's the concern about whether my mother's going to be upset. So then, she knows that your mother might get upset over this. Yeah. Well, who's doing it? My aunt Sylvia. Who's doing it? Well, who's, who's the active agent? Are you making the forward motion or should? We're both kind of meeting. We're just meeting. Okay. Fine, I can take it. Okay. But then it's mutual in that it's respect. Me, yes. <clears throat> so you're responding and she's responding in a similar way and therefore you end up kissing on the lips. Right? It's funny because my, my aunt Sonia, my mother, uh, my aunt Sonia is very playful mm -hmm. and not as strict as my mom is. My mother mm -hmm. has all these kind of social etiquette roles and my aunt Sonia is just pretty playful and natural. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, you pick up that image of natural when you say the state of mind you're in <coughs> it didn't seem wrong, it was natural, affectionate. Um, and by the way, is there a uh, puny potato in the second dream too? The the roof. That's right. That's right. That was unnatural. That was unnatural, right? So we're getting both again, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Ah, I see. God. And unusual. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. More. Um, yeah, because she's just so naturally beautiful. But the thing with my aunt Nova is she doesn't see her beauty. Hmm. She um, in the dream. In life. No, hold hold up for a while. All right. In the dream, it didn't. It was unnecessary because she was just so radiantly tall and beautiful mm -hmm. to have this big blotch of red stuff on her brown skin. Good. Good. What was the negative in respect to yourself about kissing Melba? <clears throat> Didn't want to get it on you, right? Didn't want to get that waxy stuff on you. Right? Didn't want to be smeared, smeared by her. Ah. Matter of fact, in that sense, you were repulsed. Yeah. And what she was doing was superfluous. It wasn't necessary. Is that correct? All right, so she's going, how would you say it? In what direction is she going by the use of that? She's going away from her natural view. Yeah. She's yeah. very. Yeah. yeah. And, you're re and you are repulsed by that direction. Right. Mm-hmm. What you find interesting about the dream also is that in the dream you take pleasure in the fact that they are related to you. Yeah. Talk about that. That there are three sisters and sisters, um, I didn't grow up with a sister but with a sister, a sister my age, but they would talk amongst one another and share things, mm -hmm. and that I was could be included in that somehow, because 
they were coming to visit mm -hmm. me. Yes, they were coming to visit you. Ah, good. <coughs> and they're related to you, and they're coming to see you. And therefore that means um, for you and your dream, what? There's kind of a mutual admiration. No, good, good. Acceptance, admiration, all yeah. those nice words, good, good, good. Now, reflect, is there some theme being picked up in the first or the second dream? Discriminations. Discrimination. The, uh, the two. The standard of beauty. The two. We're moving from two. People. People. Nice jump. Still making judgments. Being part of a select group. Right? Being part of a select group. Thank you. Helpful. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's moved to beauty. There's a certain beauty here, mm -hmm. but it's subdued. This is natural beauty, too. Natural. This is an addition to. This is Okay, all right, keep those themes alive as we go into the third. All right? Um, this is the second part of the second. Oh, pardon me, we're down here with Melba, that's right, I, I uh, that's right. yeah. <clears throat> with the uh, loose teeth, now mm -hmm. loose teeth. Again, that's unusual. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe not unusual in the dream since she's wearing rouge in the first part and hiding her beauty and this is like a flaw, mm -hmm. a revealed flaw, so she smiles so mm -hmm. and around and she moves. And then you're offering a suggestion of how to deal with it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though it's odd? Right, I want her to just try it, don't just don't put it down mm -hmm. yet, just yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I, I think she's gonna turn away the sour, sourness of mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. the juice in her mouth. So, what is she doing here in 2B that's different than the preceding? She's giving a solution. She's offering a solution to the problem, mm -hmm. right? suggesting it. Right? So she's not merely making a judgment and excluding, but now she's offering support and in a very nice way, isn't she? Which is, uh, see if it makes a difference, letting the other party see. That's true. Um, it's not a half-baked idea. Just try it. See if it, see if it makes a difference. No. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> right. Now, the focus is on the means, isn't it? The lemon juice. Hold on to that. And then what happens to the problem of the lemon juice? Turns sweet. That's right. Right. Wait, you know, wait till it turns sweet, then make the comparison before and after. That's right. true. All right, now go ahead to the syringe. Tanika gives me this funny kind of plastic juicer. It's a plastic juicer, it's plastic. very funny. Uh, flimsy. Flimsy. Yeah, I don't see how. It can possibly work, yeah. right? Flawed, again. Yeah, it's not suited to. Flawed, again. Look. One, this, and now this. What's the contrast? What are you going between the solution, offering offer the solution and the, and the squeeze and the squeezer? It's not, but it's not going to be effective. That's right. You, you, you don't think this is the way to do it. You have a strong doubt as to whether or not it'll work. Mm -hmm. You make a judgment about it. Still making judgments? See the kind of judgments you're making? Mm -hmm. Right? Right. But you don't reject it? No. I'm willing to give it a try. Willing to give it a try. That's the same theme formally that was applied to Melba. Mm -hmm. Which is, hey, try it out and see if it works. Mm -hmm. Right? So you're applying it also to yourself. Good. Then Nico comes in. And um, She's dozing, as you can see in this beautiful picture. The aunt is dozing, and 
Tamiko is talking to her, mm -hmm. and she snaps, leave me alone. Mm -hmm. And that was unusual for her to do that. And like I said, in contrast to my mom, that's something you don't, when mother's sleep, you don't talk to her, she just snap, she'll take your head off. So in this sense, she's functioning somewhat like your mother in that respect than right. her normal self. Her normal self. Well, yeah. And what effect did that have on you? Did it in the dream? Did yeah. it surprise you? It yeah, to okay. me by great surprise. Oh, thank you. Yes, a lot of surprise, yes. yeah, lot of surprise throughout this entire dream. And Right, that's right. Right, right through it, doesn't it? Right, good, good, good. This is the, it's like having a, a kind of surprise, like a jack in the box coming out at you, mm -hmm. not expecting that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great surprise that yeah. this would take place. Right. Ah. It's scary, too. Ah. It's scary, frightening. Hmm. Fear, fright. Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Um, let's see. All right. We'll go to the third now. This is Lisa. Mm -hmm. Lisa's house. She's oh. chasing. What are we going to look here? Are we setting ourselves up to look for certain kinds of contrasts? Mm -hmm. Right. Are the themes. same some themes. themes. Of, right. Of contrast. Right. Hold it. There's some motifs going on, like awe, surprise. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. How did that surprise relate to the dream number two? No, we don't want to do that yet. You don't want to do that yet? No, no, no comparison, Jim. We're just okay. going through it. Okay. But, but hold it. All right. Free? All right. Okay. Uh, two parts? Two parts. Two parts in the third? Right. Clearly, two, two parts. We're going to contrast the two parts, aren't we? Because we're looking to parts to whole, are we not? All right. What's the issue? She's chasing her daughter. Mm -hmm. And she's very angry. Yeah. And her daughter um, is running and mm -hmm. wailing like, you know, her life is in. Look at that. Tears flowing. Yeah. I mean, just total terror. She's a terror. Good. The terror seems to be building, huh? You experience a terror? Okay. Then what happens? Um, How does the mother relate to it? She catches up with her and asks her if she wants to have lunch. Hey, want to have lunch, good? But no, it wasn't a, a no. you know, casual. It was, do you want to eat? Well, then you better behave. Ah, good. Thank you. Right. Thank threat. you. Thank, Thank you. you. A threat. threat. Okay. And? Um, Any idea of whether it worked in the dream? <coughs> the situation calmed down. Okay. There was no violence or anything. It was right. chasing was over. She wasn't in a state of terror. She was coming into the house. Right. So in that sense, did it work? Did what work? Her, Her strategy with her child. Her. The threat. Well, the child is in a certain terrified state. Well, yeah, it worked because she wasn't, the way she was after it was as though when she got her, she was going to do something to her. But yeah. Instead, she just asked him, hey, what do you want? You better just behave yourself. Right. And that come. It worked? It worked. It worked. Ah. Ah. Quickly scan the first two dreams, right? What was happening from the first to the second? Were suggestions offered? Were things expected? Right, what are we getting here? Um, a remedy applied? Did it work? Yes. Oh, thank you. Keep going to the next part now. It, it worked to de-escalate. That, that de-escalated? Go ahead. 
told that I have a part, I was standing there as she was chasing her, and I was concerned that some harm was going to come to her, but I was motionless. I couldn't, oh, couldn't do anything. I couldn't do anything. Yeah. <coughs> you wanted to do something, you wanted to help. Yeah. But motionless. Were you, yeah. In terms of the dream, were you needed? No. No, okay. Continue then. Then Lisa gave me a long hug, mm -hmm. and I was just expecting you know, just to greet someone, just a short, you know, how do you do? But she gave me a long, um, God, how do I describe it? It's kind of a <coughs> emotional. Emotional. Glad you to see me. Glad. Like she hadn't seen you for a long time? Right. Warm? Yeah. What effect did it have on you, please? Um, it was calming. Calming. What else? And, um, calming you. It greatly yeah. contrasted with the state that she was in just before that. Yeah. Good. It was calming for her as well as you? because you were in a certain state mm -hmm. and now she's doing something, the second thing she's doing, does it work? Yes. Ah, ah. Okay, do you have a difficulty that you're resolved? Um, yeah, my concern about what was her state mm -hmm. before that. And how about running up the steps? Well, that's the next step. Uh, taking the step. Um, like I said, I was taking, as I lifted my leg to take it, the step got higher. Right. Until I saw I couldn't get up. Right. Yeah. So you needed a crate? A cr yeah. Right. Assistance, yeah. So I found a crate. And was, uh, Pardon? So I found a crate. And was, uh, That's called what? A nice strategy to meet solved. the problem. You solved it. Right? So here you made an analysis. You handled it well. You then applied it and it worked. Right. Ah. Hmm. Is there any growing, is there something developing through here in terms of identifying, discriminating, identifying, then trying to deal with it, something, uh, pardon me, trying to deal with it, uh, offering suggestions, not only offering suggestions next, but then applying them? Is it moving? <coughs> ah, good. Fourth, please. Oh, wait a minute, I, I just found one thing, we needed it. It was interesting that you called that state of mind calming to both of you, but you said, um, like she hadn't seen. Do you remember that expression? When she hugged me like she yeah. hadn't seen you. Like she hadn't seen you for a long time, right? Yeah. What was that like to you, though? I know it calmed you. Um, well, it was very, it was unexpected. Unexpected. That kind of a long, like she had What's another word for unexpected? Surprise. Oh, <laughs> does that theme of surprise run yes. through this? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Did I have to fish for that one? A little bit, <laughs> right? Okay, four. Now notice the idea of surprise is not going to be present in the fourth dream, is it? <laughs> I went into the other room and sat down. I took out my tape recorder. It was a small thing. I could play it off the TV. Huh? Surprise. <laughs> How do you play the tape recorder and get a video image? Surprised. Surprised. Right? There's this clear image. Mm -hmm. talk, my mm -hmm. talk being reviewed. Mm -hmm. People sitting here watching. Mm -hmm. They're dancing, mm -hmm. And they're seeing clearly. Mm -hmm. It's funny because it's like sitting here now and looking at it. They're beginning to see <laughs> <laughs> where, where it's going, what's happening, where the problems are. Uh, so are you seeing it too? Okay, okay, you said it. Okay, all right, go ahead. Um, and it's clear that they're seeing me and they're seeing 
and she was laughing. Mm-hmm. Nothing malicious then. She's <coughs> laughing. Good, good, good. Just her seeing. Uh-huh. Like figuring yeah. out a seeing something in a puzzle. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Um, what's she gonna do with the consequences of what she sees? And who is she talking about? Mm -hmm. You. Right, right. When she sees that, mm -hmm. what is she going to do with it? How is she going to incorporate it? Yeah. Because I was blocked somehow. I would be blocked from incorporating it somehow because of my problem, even though I saw it was going to be difficult. Because of your problem. Problem. Not, thank you. Oh, this word isn't there then. What did you say? Yeah, that is there. Oh, yes. I want to make sure because that's Next. such a huge word. Yeah, go ahead. Providence is blocked. Providence is blocked. She said that. Yeah, I didn't. I just repeated it. It's there in the dream, is it not? Yes, I'll read it again just fully clear. Mm -hmm. She was laughing because she said when she sees it, when she what is she going to do with the consequences of what she sees? Yeah, what's she going to do with the consequences of what she's seeing? Incorporate it. Incorporate it? Question, how? Question, how? <laughs> Providence is blocked. Providence is blocked. How is she going to see? Oh, yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now, why don't you just talk to us about what that expression means, as far as you're concerned. All right, to stay with it, providence is blocked. That I wasn't going to get some benefit. I wasn't? I was going to be blocked from something that was going to benefit the scene that was happening in the talk. I was going to be blocked from that, and that seeing was providential that I was going to be blocked from because of my problem. Yeah. Did I the, the seeing would have been providential had you been able to see it. Yeah. I see. Is that what you're saying? Had I not known it, it was going to be providential had I been able to not see it because I saw it. But incorporate mm. to, well, well, well. to um, Then it's not the seeing that's at issue. It's the what I'm going to do with the consequence of what I see. Ah. <coughs> Yeah, do it louder or otherwise I can't hear it. How is she going to incorporate it? Yeah. Then it's providence is blocked. Oh. It is blocked. It's if I don't even incorporate it. Pardon? If I don't incorporate it, it's blocked. Yeah. The other seat's fine. Yeah. Now put the word providence in place. Providence is blocked. Are, are you, uh, well, to talk about the word providence. Are you using it in, uh, in a very pronoia? Yeah. Greek, so in the Greek rather than Latin. Pravidio, right? To 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 for to see ahead. Yes. That right. Uh, to, what is prior to the intellect to be able to see beyond the intellect. Uh -huh, that's Pardon? Yeah. Are you supplying those what it means? I don't know. I asked. Yes. Yes. Like yes. yes. Why, well, of course, but I want to. S uh, I have to confirm it. Right. She said, yes, it was from the Greek, so I thought I'd do a number on that. Do you, do you go along with it? Because you're quite right, I don't want to introduce it. I go along with it, but what I say about providence in the stream, how I saw it, was like there was there's some something higher in me functioning. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and something. Right okay, something higher functioning in you. Go ahead. Uh, All right. A seeing. That sees this. And it was going to be blocked. It, oh. it, it's always acting appropriately to my benefit, and it was being blocked. Right. And the reason it's being blocked in terms of your dream is that? Problem. And in the dream, it's blocked because of. You use the word problem in this discussion. Uh huh. Is it in the dream? By that I mean, is it written in your notes? Yes. Oh, okay. Then the reason you can't incorporate it is because of this word, problem. Is that right? Good, just to make sure. Mm -hmm. And if it weren't for that problem, then you'd be able to incorporate it. Right. And then this higher way of saying, which you call providence, or providence, it's not a Christian concept of providence, no. but it's the sense of a higher way of saying. Okay. Good. Can I ask a question? Because that might be good from there. She, she gave me a copy of it, that line, and it looking at it she says how is she going to see or something like that with that problem it looks like that problem refers to incorporating what she sees oh find out yeah. would you please respond because she says mm -hmm. just read it loud she was laughing because she said when she sees it what is she going to do with the consequences of what she sees incorporate them providence is blocked how is she going to see or something like that with that problem but something like that is my addition. So if you take that out and just read it straight, okay. it's how she's going to see that problem. Okay. That's good. Okay. Now, we don't have the effect it has on you in the dream, and we need that. Um, Any? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it was like it. There was something there. Everyone could see it. Obvious to all. It was obvious. And I was, it was imperative that I see. That's right. Imperative to see. What she was saying. Right. So mm -hmm. that I could do something about it. Right. right. So I could do something about it. Very good. Right. And I was um, trying to find the words to describe it. Say, um, the state I was in, like my life was at stake. Ah, good, good, well, good. Right. Life is at stake. Right. Good. Very serious. Yeah. Well, imperative. Build that idea of imperative. Okay. That I had to get beyond what it was. Okay. Good. Good. How to get beyond? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. Now we looked at each one. Now, see whether you can move from any one of the t of the four dreams to another and make contrasts, comparisons. All right. Take the fourth and compare it with the first. Yeah. I have one between four and two. Okay, hold it. Just do four one first. Other people are seeing clearly. Louder, please. There are other people in the dream that are seeing clearly and making distinctions. There are other people in the four that are doing the same, but she's not. Yes. She's seeing the she's a switch from, which is a difference from one. Number one, she's making distinctions, she's judging, selecting. Four, she's the one who can't see. Yeah, yeah. That's but right. But others can see. Yes. More? Well, when she sees it, it's not indicating that she's not going to see it. Uh, but it's indicating it's, there's another step to what happens when you do see something that is a question. There's a discrimination at this point in terms of the kind of seeing that you're seeing or what's going to happen when you're seeing that. That's a good yeah. point. Yeah. Go ahead. Think it more succinct, and that is here all, the, all that's happening is discrimination. Mm -hmm. But there it's discrimination with an injunction that 
it has to be incorporated. So there's growth in terms of action. I mean, there's another motif developing on top of discrimination. Okay, more? Yes, please. The only one where I saw any real logos was um, the number one where the, her logos was I want the best and the number four where the logos was my life is at stake. That's true. That's true. More. Come on, there's more. Remember when we talked about the potato, mm -hmm. right? We asked her to talk about it and we got all of these terms. We focused on one term, CUNY, right? Undeveloped. And what was the term? Undeveloped. So when Providence is blocked, something is undeveloped. That's right. right. Picking up that theme, turning it around in another way. Good, good. Job. You guys are doing very well. <laughs> good? Okay. Uh, states of mind. Focus, discriminating. Here, what is it? It's crystal clear. Crystal clear. More? Here? Her life is at stake. Yeah. Right? Imperative. Right? This is certainly, there's an intensity. But she doesn't want to get ripped off. Coming off of puny, doesn't want to get ripped off. Doesn't want to be gypped, ripped gypped. off. I mean, gypped, sorry, yeah. gypped here. Yeah. So she doesn't want to lose her life. Her That's right. right. Yeah. Highlighted yeah. dramatically. Yeah. Good. All right. Second and the fourth, I think you were taking, were you not? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Uh, the theme of not seeing the obvious was picked up from, too, because she said that her aunt never saw herself as being beautiful right. and right. would put on that right. And that, yeah. it was obvious to her that she didn't need that much. Okay. But we're dealing with obvious, discriminating, aren't we? We're making discriminations, judging, obvious, not obvious, etc. those kinds of distinctions. That's right. Right, more? Four to two? Go, four to two? It looks like there's a problem developing, too, that underdeveloped is, <coughs> is being manifested all the way to three, where she's going up the steps and she's having difficulties. There's a or four? That's yeah, three. that's true. Can you go to three. four to two four for a while? Four to two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Four to two? Mm. Is she offering remedies in two? Yes. 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 And the remedies, how, do, how is she offering them? She's not holding on to what I was Not holding them, them. right. Just right. Try, them. try them, see if it works. Right, good, good. Does two and three, therefore, can that be contrasted in terms of that? Remedies. Remedies. Remedies given, you see how it works out, you make the judgment. Here? She uses her own remedy there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, do that again. Mm -hmm. I don't. Well, if Between. you want to take, there's someone who makes an analysis here of something undeveloped, we can call it, or at odds, and you suggest something, and you allow it up to the person to decide whether or not it's to benefit them or not. Right? So you don't know whether or not it will benefit. Right. Right? You're not sure about whether that curious little dispenser will work or not. You have strong doubts about it. It's not tested. Mm -hmm. right? In three though, is there a crisis and someone does make a judgment to try to resolve the situation? Mm -hmm. Do, are they successful? Yes. On two levels? Both with the child and with you? Ah. <clears throat> and with me using getting a crate too. And then you go out and see what's wrong and you get a crate. So both of you, in this case, are doing what? Resolving problems. Right, 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 right. right. Uh -huh. Not waiting to see. That's right. Not waiting to see what may happen. Yeah. But you apply it immediately and it works. Right. Here, not so. All right. She's seeing a lot of things. She's seeing. Uh, uh, unusual things and seeing very clearly through one, two, three about other things, ah. about, about other uh, people, about other situations and even events and circumstances mm -hmm. and how to handle them and making judgments regarding those. Yeah, except for the crate, maybe that begins what she's doing. But she's starting to, right. yeah, that seems right. to right. change where now she's got to do something about her own uh, abilities or power. That's right. And 
now that's it right. moves into four. That's right. Where now her own mm -hmm. seeing about herself is, mm -hmm. is, is, <coughs> is at a point. Yeah. Good, good. More? Come on, guys, doing well. Come on. And it looks like that's where the question is. She's able to incorporate also her seeing of other people and being able to give remedies. Mm -hmm. and with the consequences mm -hmm. of what she sees with respect to others, but now in four, mm -hmm. it's a question that becomes that that may be a problem at that point, whether she okay. can do it for herself. Right. Okay. Now I have to apply my seeing to myself That's and right. overcome. So if you had these four dreams then, and you looked at them in this way, is it likely you'd pick on one of the four to explore in greater depth? Yeah, the four. Yeah. I would pick the last one. Yeah, the four. Because, because, because that, what does that do? Her confidence is blocked unless yeah. she can incorporate right. it. Right. 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 And that pulls together yeah. all before she's handling different kinds of problems, but now it's herself. Yeah. And all the way through it involves her seeing. And all through it involves judging, seeing, yeah. remedies. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Others seeing, yeah. she's seeing, yeah. not seeing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she's surprised, maybe it'll work. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, okay. Now, <clears throat> we could take each one of these scenes and put it in this way the first, second, third, fourth, right? We could talk about this as uh, the first one, we could portray it as she comes into the room and she's surprised, you know, the tape recorder could play visual images, that would be one. And then they're all talking together and they're looking at the screen too. And then the discussion with this one woman who's leading it. Then her statement, it's effect on you. We could then put numbers on those and just put them like that, represent them in a circle, couldn't we? Which is the best way to do it. Um, now, it looks like then we can take a look at the fourth one. And it looks like many of you are saying that's a very interesting expression. Providence is blocked. And blocked by a problem. It's not in seeing. Notice it's not in seeing. Mm -hmm. Not in seeing. What's the problem? And doing something with what you see. And if you don't handle that, what's the dream telling you? The problem is going to be blocked. You're, what would it mean to say providence? Not providence is blocked. That's the consequence. A higher order of seeing isn't going to come about for you yeah, yeah. unless you push through and do something yeah. with what you see. Is that right? You go along with that? With ourselves. Yeah. With yeah. Herself. Yeah. That's what it yeah. Seems to be yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was a pretty universal message there. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's interesting in this, <clears throat> let's go back to the uh, images. She's also surprised or amazed at how clear the images were. They're crystal clear. Remember that? Yeah. Talk about that for a few minutes. It was like this. It wasn't like watching you know, a screen. It was, uh, it no longer had a, there was no separation between me and the image on the screen. It's when I was there and it was mm -hmm. crystal clear. And it was more clear than any TV image could ever be. Did we get, did we make a connection between that and the first? Right, focused right there, right? You have it again coming up here, only it's stronger here, it appears, does it not? Color. Color. In, in living color. Living color. In a living color. Living like no notches, full no size, smooth. Right. right, that's right. Perfect, perfect potato. Perfect potato. In that sense. In that sense. Yeah. Right. Living color, three-dimensional. Yeah. And you, 
you seem to enjoy it now that you're recalling it. Was that in the dream as well? Yeah, because when I take the dream, I remember saying, kind of also another awe at how clear it was, how mm -hmm. perfectly clear. But like right. beautifully clear. Yeah. And the color, I remember there was like, it wasn't in black and white, it was in full color, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. bright, brilliant mm -hmm. colors. Mm -hmm. yeah. Awe comes back again, doesn't it? Did we get awe back again? Yeah. Right. So she enjoys her seeing, she enjoys when it's clear, when it's mm -hmm. crystal clear, she can identify with it. She, this is all I'm seeing, isn't it? The importance of seeing. But what's the issue? Cooperating. Now, I don't know what that word means in your dream. Can you talk about it? Yeah. Is that what companies do? What the which word? In, incorporate. Incorporate. What is it again? Incorporate. incorporate. I don't know the word. So from you, what does it mean? See, I don't want to... Doing something with what I see. And doing turning, something with what I see. And in this case, turning... Turning? What I see... Hmm. Turning what I see on myself. But turning my seeing to myself. Turning my seeing to myself. That's what you mean by this word, incorporate. Right? Turning your seeing on yourself. That's what it means, right? And somehow, you use that word. Somehow. Right? Assimilate it somehow. Yeah. Right. right, right. Especially if it's obvious to everyone but you. Right. That's extremely important. Mm -hmm. That's that's very helpful, isn't it? Right? Yeah. yeah that, that was very helpful, right? Because she says it, it was obvious to, to everyone but her. Mm -hmm. It was right in front of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Yeah, it was just, um, everyone could see it, and it brought my attention to it even more so, and that I saw that I needed to do something. Mm -hmm. That's an because interesting state of mind, isn't it? You're in it now, or you're recalling it now, are you not? Uh -huh. What's the history of that state of mind? Could you give me an example of it from your own past? No, just, it's a curious state of mind, that's right, is it not? It's obvious to all but you. It's clear to everybody. All right, go ahead. All right, just keep talking. Go ahead. Not getting something. Go ahead. Huh? I don't know what it was I was doing. Uh huh. But <coughs> my mother was there. I think my aunts might have been there when I was younger too in the scene and they were laughing because I was doing something and I didn't, it was as though, you know, like a child would do something that adults will think is funny, but the child is really trying to accomplish something. They'll laugh and think, oh, how funny, cute. I had that sense about that scene and feeling like, uh, I really wanted to try and get it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, more. My feelings were kind of were hurt. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to try and get it. 
No, the one that you try to get it was what? Well, there are two things there. I have to be careful. Which one is it? Trying to get what they're laughing at or trying to do what you're trying to do? Hmm? I was trying to do what I was trying to do, but I think it changed because they were laughing. It was kind of an indication that I was doing something wrong. I took it that way. Mm -hmm. I wasn't doing something right. Mm -hmm. And they're laughing. And I wanted to, to do it the right way. Mm -hmm. Not the way that you get me laughed at. But not to, what? Say that part again? Just say it again. Not the way that you get me laughed at. You want to do it the right way but not the way it would get you to be laughed at, right? But, not the way. Not the way. That's a new goal, isn't it? That's a new goal, isn't it? Yeah. What do you make of that new goal? differently than the way I saw how I wanted to go about it. Then you changed your goal from what you're saying, right? Uh, but not to do it the way to get laughed at. There's another element brought in. Mm -hmm. Like they were seeing something that I wasn't seeing. Yeah. Yeah. They were seeing something about me and the way I was doing it. Yeah. That's true. Go ahead. All right. They were seeing something about you. Huh? Now, why would the dream be picking up this scene? There's something interesting about it. What are you now doing in the, at, like at this moment? I want to do it the right way, but not to do it the way to get, to, to get laughed at. I'm changing the way I, I, I was doing it. I changed oh, my right. Then this has changed, then, isn't it? Change, change your focus. goal. Change my focus. Yeah, change your focus. Good, ch good word. I don't know why. Did you use it before? <laughs> That's right. Change your focus. Did you? Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Did you uh, ever find out what they were laughing at? Did they ever help you? What do you make of the fact that they didn't help you? Your mother's mother's there. Right? Now you're going to try to do something. Does it assume that you know what they're laughing at? Oh, so you're going to try to find a way to, to avoid being laughed at but you don't know what they're laughing at. Now you have a rather interesting problem then, don't you? What are you going to do with it? I don't see what they're laughing at to fix, so what am I going to do? So long as you're holding on to this as a solution, Change. 
Could you get the goal? Could you achieve it? No, I'm missing something. Yeah, what's the thing you're missing? What they're lacking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Say, in this uh, dream, uh, any help? Any help? They're trying to help you. Uh, sorry, which one are you in? And the fourth one? Are they going to try to help you see what's obvious? Any help for it? Uh, no, just a statement. So you don't ask. Do you ask here? What do you do then? What did you do then? Think that I knew. Thought you knew. Because this is thinking you know. This is your solution, isn't it? You think you know what to do. Yeah. But what did you find out about it? Is it possible or impossible, given the ground? Oh. So what must you do here? Uh, what are you doing in the dream? What's, what do you see as the problem? That's right. You're not? Asking the question. Ah, uh, about? No. Okay, one more step. Say, so, you know this life-threatening thing? Your life is at stake? Right? That's an interesting state of mind, isn't it? Isn't it? Experience it recently? That state of mind? Do you care to talk about it or not? It's up to you. Go ahead. Well, I don't know if it's life threatening. I had talked about like I was in a rut. Mm -hmm. And not going ahead, not moving. Uh huh. And go ahead. That's okay. <laughs> As you can tell with my art, I went to the same school Leonardo went with. <laughs> That's so rough. Yeah, go ahead. Um, yeah, play it. And what did you have what would you have had to have done to have made that particular situation, which I'm not probing for by the way, mm -hmm. to be more successful or to be successful? Make this Yeah. Talk about it. Yeah. Interesting. For had, finish it now, for had you talked about it, right, right. So look here. What can we say about the Dream Master who put this together? Does it take a particularly important theme? and play it with each one of these as a particular way of expressing one theme, turning it around, and showing various ways in which it can manifest itself. So therefore the Dream Master must have an idea, looks at your, look here, looks at your present, Hey, look here. Knows your past, selects these material with great care, gives it to you in the present, so that then you can understand your present and prepare for your future. Meaningful. For your benefit. Mm -hmm. Ah. Ah. Well. This dream cycle has one theme. 
It shows itself up in many particular dreams. That one is a model. These copies, one, two, three, four, are variations. There is a model, or one idea, the dream master must have, which functions as a cause. The copies are variations and it shows likeness to its source. The basic idea behind it all, which apparently is that sense of your life is at stake, you must deal with it, and you're not able to. Right? Look here. That means that all the effects, the dreams, pre-exist potentially in the activity of the cause. It's all there. The dream master's got it. And it's by means of, of the cause's power that it's able then to take a look at time in three different ways. You see, the future is germinal, that's only possible. It doesn't exist, it's only possible. The present, the present must include at once what was in the future and is now present, but it has nothing to do with the past. Therefore, we're, we're, we're blocked, I mean with the future, what? Includes what was once not, excuse me? Doesn't include, yeah, yeah, that's right, doesn't include the past yet. I'm right, okay. I can be right once in a while. Fine. So it contains the future insofar as it manifests what was present in the moment. The dream master therefore includes all and can comprehend all three at once in a vision I review. It can play out its copies in all of these varieties because it has it in such splendid form because it can draw from your past the most interesting details. If we had time, we could go through every one of the images and it would be just as meaningful as the whole. The syringe, the potatoes, right? We could go through every one of them. Hello. What are these cycles? The cycles these cycles, these dreams, can equally be said to be giving us problems to try to solve. Right. Now, a cycle has existence in the process of coming to be. The dream has an existence, the process of coming to be. And that which moves it has power and intelligence, doesn't it? To be able to pull this off in a way, creatively. Its function is to provide the means by which entity is transformed from place to place or from person to person. That is to say, look, the function of the dream is to provide the means by which, if you can then wake up to the possibility of talking about these things that are important to you, and therefore your providence is no longer blocked, that will make an available kind of energy for you to function with intelligently and meaningfully. And that transformation is to our benefit. Right. Now look here. Uh, this is where we are going next week. We're going to look at two transmission analogies. Formally, how we are taught and how we are also, and how we pick up, beliefs. We're going to play with this. Let me just hit it for you for a moment. See, let's make the analogy. As a teacher is to you, so now, once you've learned it, you too can be to your universe. And you can then relate to it. You can also be a teacher yourself and teach others. So therefore, as master is to student, so the student in learning, in turn, either applies it, either to the universe or to others, and therefore it is A is to B, as B is to C, a mean analogy. Right? In that formal teaching, it's goal-related. It's a strategy, goal-related. Communicates, instructs, it's public. Teacher guides, questions, tests are appropriate. 
The teacher, therefore, should be able to demonstrate what he sees or she sees, right? And therefore, there must be an application of it. On the other hand, there's another class of, of learning that takes place. And they are sometimes beliefs that are communicated that are irreconcilable with the highest goals. These kinds of scenes, the authority persuades, demands, coerces, appears knowing, sincere, wise, and caring, and even love, may even appear beautiful. But insofar as it is not, guide, question, tested, demonstrated, and applied, it lives on as a belief. When these beliefs are irreconcilable with one's goals, it is in fact a kind of strategy that is not goal-related, but failure-driven. The play of these two is what it is to be in the human domain. And, ah, let me do that one next time. That goes too, too, too much. Okay, thank you. Any questions? Have a cup of tea? We'll come back and ask questions. What do you say? I'm a little dry. I'll get my tea and we'll come back and open to questions. So, what is the Dream Master's relationship to the future? What's it saying about our future? What's it saying about yeah, us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what did you do with the last answer before I offer another one? First one might work, depending upon what he does with it. Since that's the only one I have. I didn't get it. Well, in this case, would you agree that the Dream Master is giving her something uh -huh. and it will only be, uh, using the terms you suggested a moment ago, it will only be providential if what? Under what circumstances? That she reflects on it, That's right. sees right. it, right. Right. studies it. Okay, watch the next three steps. Dangerous, all right? Number one. Say then, if you reflect on these dreams and link them one to the other then, would you agree you then see there's a pattern that goes through? Say the pattern is uh, developmental, mm, as a direction, intelligible, meaningful. Hmm. By the way, when you go through this, does this help you understand how the dream was constructed? By understanding it, do you also understand its construction? Do you also see how it might be applied analogically to your present? Second question, right? Say, is it likely then that in understanding the dream, you have to learn how the dream master constructs the dream? Absolutely. Third, does that mean you're learning how to think as the dream master thinks? And constructs and weaves whatever it is he weaves? And then our way of growing is to yeah, become, like become like the dream master. Master, dream master. That's right. But, but it's so interesting about the dream. It is like a tapestry, and it takes those things like they have developed, and for life being at stake. And yes. the dream, it does develop. Mm -hmm. It just weaves all that. Mm -hmm. It's just really It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Really right. <clears throat> So, how did we do it? First, you just get the data, let the person reflect on the data, right? and by that they will often add things to it just by reflecting on them. Then you go to states of mind, do you not? Right, let them then add to it, as she did. You look for key words that are curious, let the person amplify them. We got puny, remember, and how important that was, undeveloped. Remember how that worked out? Right. Uh, then we uh, got the states of mind and added to it. That added a certain kind of stability to it and gave it a certain kind of vitality too. And when we did that, then we looked for connections between each dream, did we not? Let's take a look at the relationships between one and four, two and four, two and three, did we not? All right. Did that help see the way it could be linked? Did we then choose what appeared to be the one where most of the difficulties or where we could see it most clearly? Here's another one. 
Do you think you could go back and do this, do everything in terms of the potato? Yeah, I was thinking of that. It's already contained. In the potato. So even if you forgot the other three and only had this one, with enough time, caution, you might be able to get the whole drama. Right out of the screen. Yeah. Please. Louder, please. Louder. I missed that. Yeah. Oh, she described that dream. She said she described it as gathering and harvesting potatoes. Mm. Mm -hmm. So just like very white. Mm -hmm. Gathering. For what you were saying before about the dream, uh, we were looking at the dream to see how the dream master constructs the dream, <coughs> seeing how the dream master thinks. You know? yeah. Yeah. And uh, connecting that with the idea that the dream master is seeing what we don't see. Yeah. In other words, right now. Yes, right at this moment. And so by doing this, we mm -hmm. are actually um, bringing ourselves to consciousness. Uh, uh -huh. And moving towards the dream master. Louder, please. Moving towards the dream master, seeing in the way the dream master does. You move in towards the dream master. You're moving towards. Really? Moving so, towards being rational in the present. That's right. Yes, being and a model for rationality, the dream master. So have we done it? Did we seek part to hold? Mm -hmm. Do we then look for the order? If we found a repeating order, then we look for the pattern. We saw the pattern, it's either static or dynamic. It's dynamic, growth, development, right? And then if there is a dynamic pattern, then there's a theme. Did we follow the themes through it all? Good, good. If there are themes, are they unified? Do they come together into a unity? Ah, if so, then we could say the whole is intelligible, and if so, then we know it's meaningful, then we seek then how it's going to be to our benefit. Therefore, what I'm doing and what I'm showing you is the art of dream analysis is truly an art since it's a way of approaching something that brings the benefit entirely for the subject and has that as its only goal. What is this, so when you say, the, what is the pattern of static? I mean, it isn't in this dream. No. Well, they, there might be just like the, this is an order. Yes. But it's, right? static. it's repeating develop. order, but it's static. Doesn't develop. Doesn't develop. Doesn't develop. Yeah. Yeah. And that does occur. No. I've never, in all my years yeah. doing dreams, so ever. They always are dynamic. They're, all, they're always dynamic. Because I'm looking to see yeah. why you're asking this question. Yeah. Is it static or dynamic? Well, just logical. Oh. Okay. Just logical categories. It's easy, right? Someone might ask, well, how do you know? I mean, then could you say that if there's a pattern, then look for its dynamic? Sure. And, I mean, oh, yeah. 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 This is just logical. Okay. I would now take that out. So, okay. if pattern, then it's going to be dynamic. And if it is dynamic, then there's going to be a thing. That's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. Good? Kind of an irony. The dream master is more awake to our waking world and we're asleep, that we're asleep to. And by reflecting like we're doing on these dreams, then we can then be more awake in our waking world as the dream master is. And go ahead to the other side. And when you are asleep, it is awake, awake. awake bringing together your past and your present in order to bring about a certain kind of meaningful development for you that can benefit solely you. Right. And then you ponder it when you're awake in the morning. Like, what does this mean? This can't possibly mean anything. Maybe it does. Wait a minute. It always does. Always does. But it's, it's always does. To add to what she said, that it's not only me letting us be awake in our waking world, but it's also awaking the message of its own essence as well, the dream master's essence. I didn't, last part? The dream master's, it's also making, allowing us to re become awake to him, or the, yeah. the dream yeah. master. Yeah. 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 Once, you, once you begin to see this again and again, then your dreams take on a more rational character. It'll help you. Mm -hmm. Theoretically, they have a cycle of cycles. <laughs> A what? Theoretically, you could have a cycle of cycles. Oh, sure. You could keep your dreams over the Oh, years. absolutely. There's a whole uh, way of approaching cycles. Yes, that's true. Uh, there are two kinds of cycles, one transverse cycle and one, yeah, you know, there are different kinds of cycles, and, and you can talk about them. 
and you can apply uh, cycle theory to dreams. Yes. You're looking at this dream like uh, in one given cycle. In your experience, what's the limit of the number of dreams in a cycle? Typically, or that, is there one, one of the functions of yeah, no, no, no. in the study of cycles and what in any area that you study it in, there's um, you can have what's whether you're looking at the cycle of gold prices or corn or dreams. Um, any particular dream has an up and a down, right? So that's one dream. Now, you can take a whole series of them, right? And then you can ask, what you find is that within this, there's going to be one that's going to be radically different and you can find it, same theme, reappear later, and you can take that to be the boundary of the cycles. And it works. Then you can have sub-cycles within it, but that's easily distinguished and you can discriminate it. See, one of the interesting things about cycle theory, by the way, um, is that whenever you have a cycle, of anything that along the same space and time if another appears then you have a vector sum therefore this rises this rises as of the sum of the vectors if you have two vectors pardon me if you have two um, waves that are going in opposite direction, when one is progressive, the other is regressive, then what you have then is that the one cancels out the other. And you know what that means? That's what happens in our daily lives. When you have a problem, the problem cancels out your success and wipes out your everything that you've done, or a good part of what you've done. And that's because one cycle is regressive, going backwards. Failure, failure belief or belief failures. And the other one is goal-related strategies. And therefore, when you're after some goal that's significant to you and you don't realize you have a belief that's irreconcilable with your goals, it's going in the other direction. When they superimpose, then you have that classic thing called the wipeout of the two graphs, or the power of the two graphs and amnesia sets in, you forget what happened. You, but that, we'll, we'll go, and perhaps we'll go into that next time, okay? Yeah. And uh, a guy by the name of Martin Armstrong is famous for working through dreams, uh, pardon me, uh, wave theory. And uh, he's at the uh, um, uh, Princeton Institute of Economic Development. He worked out a whole theory of dream. Uh, pardon me, a whole theory of cycles, study of cycles. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.